Well, what's going on in the real estate market? Well, for one thing, everyone that predicted doom and gloom for Bucks County sellers has eaten a little crow. From March of last year to March of this year, prices have risen an average of 8%. The downside is that the overall number of sales in Pennsylvania has dropped by almost 30% as we still continue to experience a shortage driven by the rising interest rates and the lack of inventory for sellers who need to buy replacement homes. If you have specific questions about buying or selling, feel free to reach out to me. I'm always available to help. So check this out. If you're buying a three-bedroom house, you're paying almost 11% more this year. For a five-bedroom house, you're paying 18% more. And if you want to scale down, buy a one-bedroom condo, well, they're up 35% this year over last year. You'd think that'd be great news for sellers. Well, not necessarily. As I mentioned, the number of Pennsylvania homes sold dropped by almost 30%. I mean, mostly because buyers are, as I mentioned, are still struggling with the turbulent answer rates, and sellers are still having trouble finding replacement homes. And another thing that's contributing is some sellers and their realtors are having a tough time figuring out at what price they should list. That's why you'll see some houses are getting multiple offers as if we're still in the feeding frenzy, and other houses are sitting on the market for 90, 100, 120 days. So really, the advice is always the same. You make a move when your life dictates it's the best thing for you, regardless of the market. This is your favorite realtor, Bill Eves with Remax, and again, thanks for watching.